Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Year 8 segment. I'm Shay. And I'm Alex. Unfortunately, Mia can't be here today. Man, that was a good rugby workout. No way, soccer's so much better. No way, rugby's better. No, soccer! Rugby! So let's pass it over to see what's happening in Year 8 News. Okay. Hey, welcome to Year 8 News. I'm Jen. And I'm Georgia, but where's Ella? Um... Sorry, I might have just been delivering some presents. That makes sense considering it's April. I know. Yeah. Right, anyway, now we're going to go and interview some Year 8 students and see what they're doing for a spy this term. Let's go! Hi, we're here with Sophie. So, could you give us a basic idea of what your Aspire is? Um, so basically, this year for Aspire, we are looking at um, uh, habitat and, and at new animals adaptations. So you create your own animal and then um, adapt it to your environment. And what's your animal? Um, it's an insect which is nocturnal that wraps itself in a leaf during the day and eats sap during the night. And are you enjoying your Aspire so far? Yeah, it's really good. I think I'm off to a really good start and I can't wait to learn more about um, the habitat that I'm on and doing and um, things coming up in Aspire. Okay, thanks. We are here with Kiriana, so what's your habitat? Um, I'm doing the Amazon rainforest. Oh yeah, and what are you looking to do, like for your animal? Um, I'm thinking about doing something that lives in the treetops. Oh yeah, cool. And are you enjoying doing your Aspire? Yeah, I've really enjoyed learning about the rainforest more. Oh yeah, thank you. As you can see, our Year 8 students are having a lot of fun creating their own creatures, giving them adaptations, and researching habitats. So that's all we have for you today, so back to you, Mia and Shay. Now let's throw it over to Colt. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Konnichiwa, I'm Tonga. I'm Ella. And I'm Ruby. Catch. This week we videoed some Bamakin students doing rice and hamburger. We work out. How about we do soccer for a change? Nah. Abby, <laughs> <laughs> stop sliding down the hill. Come on. I didn't do it on purpose. Sure, sure. Anyway, over to top five. Well done, Mrs. Quelch. Good work. At number three 
this week is Miss Downey's for Territory. <laughs> Go Miss Downey! At number two this week is a 2010 Toyota Corolla. Congratulations if it's yours. Congratulations! Congratulations! At top spot this week is Mr. Hurden. Uh, it's a uh, Sparrow Legacy 1991. What do you have to say about winning? It goes without saying, really. Let's go and start the car park. Let's take a look through it. Come on. So we have a, uh, a designer, top designer uh, car seat cover called a Wanganui Rugby Towel. It just protects the uh, where the dog got through. As you can see, it has its own built-in security system. Just listen. That's the TV aerial. Doesn't go up. It has hydraulics for when I'm uh, going up and down George Street. <laughs> Loud stereo. <laughs> Window wipers. <laughs> Listen to a purr. <laughs> That's enough. I've got to go. I'm actually brilliant. <laughs> Is it recording? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Hernan, on getting top spot this week. You and your car definitely deserved it. Thanks for watching. Over to you, Planet Animal. Hi, I'm Ashley. And I'm Lily. And welcome to Planet Animal. This week, we're doing Tasmanian Devils. Here are a few facts about Tasmanian Devils. Tasmanian Devils are active during the day but are nocturnal during the night. Tasmanian Devils jaws are strong enough to gnaw through a metal trap. Tasmanian Devils store their fat in their tails. In the mid-1990s, a catastrophic disease killed many Tasmanian Devils. This disease is called Devil Facial Tumour. A Devil's fav favourite food is the wombat. When a Tasmanian devil is threatened or excited, their ears go bright red. Tasmanian devils are good swimmers. An angry Tasmanian devil will often point its tail straight up in the air. Tasmanian devils are fierce and will often take down prey many times their size. Now let's go back to our hosts, Abby and Tim. Anyway, we've got some guitar lessons going on in the dance room. Let's go have a peek. <laughs> Over to you, you seven hosts. Hi, this is Colin. And this is Ella. And welcome We're back, back to, to another episode of Bel Air. Have you done your spy project yet? No. Oh, I presented it yesterday. Oh, you are really quick. And now we're going to go to Year 7 News. Hi, I'm Henry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. And I'm Kane. And, and this is Year 7 News. The U7s have been having a great first term at Balmacuan Intermediate. The U7s have also been doing their Aspire project on who shaped you and why. And this is us for the U7 News. Back to you, Ella and Colin. Welcome back. What have you been doing in maths? Oh, I've been doing those strategy sheets. Oh, me too. Talk. Yeah, um, how do you find them? Some, some of it's hard, but it's mostly pretty easy. Yeah, me too. Now we're going to go to sport. And he Hollywood, yeah, Hollywood, what are you doing, hey, mate? How's it going? Oh. Yeah, it's good. What are you up to? Oh, I was practicing my dance. Oh, that's the effort we need at Bell McKeown yeah. this year in our basketball program for 2013. Great to see it, mate. Well done. Thank you. Um, so, how's, how's the training going? The training going in terms of what? Uh, Bell McEwen basketball. basketball. We've just had trials this week. Uh, really good efforts coming from uh, all age groups and all genders. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a really good year for us. Yes. Um, hopefully we'll win the finals this year. Yeah, I'm hoping we'll take win. a few, uh, few titles out. Is that what happened yes. last year? Johnny's yeah. got one. Well, we're working on a few Sporting things and we'll look to develop that. Yes. Now, Abbott's going to show us his shooting tips. So, uh, guys, you had it like this? And shoot. But usually get it in. Now Mr. Rowe's is going to show us how uh, to do an LU. Holly, I think Mr. Rowe, would you like to come in? No, here, I'll shoot it though. No, you're going to an LU. No, I don't think I'm going to What? What? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what was that. Oh, I'm sorry. Take a shoot it. Oh, we'll shoot out with you. Can you shoot from the new turn? Can you shoot 
see it, 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 Nice. We, are we still supposed to be recording this? Uh -huh. Nice. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Did you get it? You got yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. And now back to our host, Tim and Abby. Yeah. Tyler, you're meant to be filming. Sorry. Tim. What is it now? I've had it with you boys, I am going. Anyway, it's time for I am. Welcome to our second episode of I am. Today's victim is, drum roll please. We don't have a drum Lucy. is has to do crying up for 30 seconds with a cream pie underneath his face. But I think it's right where to go crying hard. Let the game begin. Am I lovely? Yes. Am, do I have legs? Yes. Uh, am I green? No. Am I bright colour? No. Do I have hair? No. Am I reptile? No. Do I live in New Zealand? No. Do I live in water? No. Do I breathe air? Time's up. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Now, since you did not get the answer, which was an elephant, mm. you have to do a prime half for 30 seconds with a cream pie underneath your face. Okay? okay. Down and okay. down. Down and down. Down and down. Down and down. creamy situation. <laughs> well that's all we've got time for this week. Remember, stay classy! classy.